The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Happy Monday to you, starting out with a mostly cloudy sky and a few stray showers, especially as you go south of US 460 in the New River Valley. I'm kind of skeptical, skeptical, excuse me, about what's showing up in Southside. I think some of that is evaporating before really hitting the ground. But there you see Future Tracker at least picking up on what little bit of light rain we've got out there here for the next two hours or so. Even heading into the evening could get away with a few showers, most of which are going to target some of the higher elevations along the West Virginia, Virginia line. This as a front just kind of hangs out nearby and allows the air to rise just enough to see occasional showers into the wee morning hours on Tuesday. Here's seven o'clock Tuesday morning. Most of us are dry and then you see a mostly sunny to at times partly cloudy sky by Tuesday afternoon. So for tonight, we're breezy with a few showers. That's going to keep temperatures elevated by first thing tomorrow morning. Most of us awaken to temps 45 to 50 degrees tomorrow afternoon. However, warmer, brighter and windier Pulaski 59. Meanwhile, Roanoke Rocky Mount Martinsville 69 degrees. Danville South Boston making it up to 72 degrees, but it will be windy at times, especially after 11 o'clock in the morning. I expect our strongest wind gusts to come sometime between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. And there you see gusts of about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Still a little breezy tomorrow evening, but not nearly as strong. This comes as a weak front passes through the area. Then as we head into Wednesday, could see a few showers north of I-64. Thursday, a few showers in the mountains, but that is not going to be the main story. The main story heading into Thursday is the big league warmth that we're going to have to deal with. In fact, Danville, Roanoke, Lynchburg, I'm forecasting highs 80 to 82. So just how rare is that kind of warmth in the month of February? It's only happened a dozen times in Danville, five times in Roanoke, four times in Lynchburg. Keep in mind, our records go back to the late 1800s, early 1900s. Don't go getting used to that, though. It is still February after all, even though it hasn't really felt like that. Temperatures will fall from early Friday morning into the afternoon. Much of Friday afternoon spent in the 40s. Ditto for Saturday afternoon. Difference is there's going to be some showers to work with occasionally throughout the day Saturday. So we'll put the yellow there. Limited time outdoors for Saturday. We'll give you the green light for Sunday. Mostly cloudy, but still mild out there. <clears throat> Pardon me, extended forecast again showing more fluctuation in temperatures from day to day. Today we're in the 50s and 60s, tomorrow 60s and 70s. Wednesday 50s and 60s, Thursday just doing its own thing. Highs in the 70s and 80s, breaking record high temperatures across the board. Again, temps Friday well before sunrise in the 50s and 60s, but much of the day is going to be spent in the 40s. 30s first thing Saturday morning, 40s with rain, and then back into the 60s by Sunday. So if you were to look at the forecast from Thursday through Sunday, those are basically your Powerball numbers right there. Mm -hmm. It just seems random and yeah. completely spread out for sure. Golly, that Thursday though. Right? Man, you might want to take your workout out outside like, like literally I could just only imagine how good good is going to feel yeah, out there. you're going to break a sweat by <laughs> doing that too I mean and the, I was just looking at the numbers with one of our producers in the newsroom that 80 degrees that you see there is more typical for late May yeah not necessarily mid-February well, here we go we here lucked we go. up we got lucky <laughs> thanks Chris you got it